Hi guys, it's Niall here from Illusion Game. Sorry, Illusion Gaming. I'm bringing you now the third episode of my hundred and out with a bongle whore. As you can see, this guy's team for all three, you one two. He's got an okay team. I think it's Syria. But yeah, I get the lead in the um, 25th minute with Danny Welbeck, which I was really pleased about. But then he like kind of straight away afterwards, just two minutes later, scores with Matry. So yeah, in this episode I'm going to be talking about like what I'd like from FIFA 14, mainly Ultimate Team, but also a bit about other stuff. So what I'd like out of Ultimate Team, this is the most important thing I think they should add, is 10 divisions. Because for me, once I've got to Division 1 in Ultimate Team, it kind of gets a bit boring if I've got nothing to do. So I normally either just restart or don't play for about 2 months. So I think it'd be really good if they add... If they add, um, sorry, uh, 10 divisions into it, because it'd make it a lot harder. And you'd really be able to tell if you're good or not. Because at the moment, if you, it's really easy to get into Division 1. Nearly anyone could do it. Even some of my friends who are really terrible at FIFA get to Division 1. I'd also like them to add like a wager match option. So like there'll be a special lobby. That if you want to wager anybody in the world, like 50k... You both have to put in 50k, it takes the money away, and then like the winner will just get 100k or maybe 75k, so the person who sets up the lobby got 25k from that. I think that'd be really cool if they added that. And going on to like career mode, they should add it so like, I don't know, players, just like, so the computer's more realistic type of things. So, like, they've made it quite good this year, career mode. But I just want the overall career mode experience to be better. And, like, they've noticed, like, when a player, like, retires, such as Ronaldo, they regenerate a player, and you can find him quite easily, and you know he's going to become amazing. So, like, they regenerate him quite young. So, stuff like that. But coming back into the gameplay, I think I won the last game. No, sorry, we drew 3 all the last game. Really lucky. I kind of scored in the last minute to get that to 3 all. I'm winning this game one all, but unluckily he kind of sweats that across the goal. And then that just, he finishes that quite nicely in the 52nd minute with a Bamiyang. But here with a Bonhoor doing some nice footwork, just running past each player. Then he just cuts the ball back and then finishes that to the far post. Really nice finish. That's got 8 games, 19 goals. So he's still above, like, so he's now still played double. I mean, he scored double than what he's played. We're coming up against a 4-2-3-1 team, Silva. I know the only player I actually know from that team is his centre forward, Pascalep. Because I know in FIFA 12 he played for Portsmouth and he was actually a really good player. But we get the lead quite early on here with actually Oxley chamberlain Yeah. Kind of a bong hole kind of misses a sweaty goal. Be in the 10th minute. So it's always good to get up. And then this guy kind of falls apart. No defender's really ever going to catch a ball in whore, and he's not really going to miss a one-on-one -on -one like that. So now he's got to die, played 20 goals, which is just outstanding, because I think we're down Division 3, which is, so it's still quite easy in Division 3. It really starts to get hard in Division 2 and things. But yeah, and I believe this, yeah, this guy rage quits after 20 minutes, because we were beating him 2-0, which is fair enough if you thought he was just going to get killed. So yeah, actually no, that was us winning the title of Division 4. So this is our first game into the Division 3. So a 5-2-1-2 team, kind of a hybrid with a bit of Syria, a bit of the Premier League, well, uh, Lucas Podolski Premier League, Bundesliga. He's mainly just gone for a pace team. And in the 17th minute, he gets so close there. He takes a bit of a deflection and just goes just past the post. Bonghor does a nice let it through his leg skill to get us the lead in the 30th minute. But to be fair, this game, he was all over us. As you'll see here, he just kind of sweats it a bit. Just there. And luckily, oh wow, Hugo Lloris comes up with such a good save there. I couldn't believe it. But we were lucky here again. We just get a break and that goes two goals for Bonghor this game. And us winning 2-0. And this was some of the luckiest defending I think I've ever done. He could go up in there, open goal, and goal cliche on the line. Stops it. 
but unfortunately for us, he gets it through, plays a nice lob through ball, and scores such a nice goal. I mean, really, I wasn't expecting Loris to save that. Such a good finish from S. Find there. Here, we got Oxley Chamberlain down the wing. He crosses it in, and Sturridge is there to head it home for us. So now we're winning 3 1 in this game, 76th minute. And that's actually how it ends. And that's the last game of the match in this one. So that's the end of the episode now. If you did enjoy the episode, a like's always appreciated. And if you want to catch any other episodes of this, then subscribe or any other the, of the other series like Pink Slips or Squad Builders. So yeah, see you later.